We were looking around for places to set up some field experiments and a student of mine mentioned she'd been wandering around the golf course and there were some really nice areas that were not part of the golf course but were very rich in grasses and we set up some field experiments there. At the same time, purely by coincidence, the university announced the plans to build another golf course. But because our research plots were actually going to be exactly where a green or fairway was going to be located, I sort of got sucked into it. Keith Clay was the one of the key faculty members who was leading the effort to pull together faculty from across campus to make a case to the administration that there was a better plan for the use of the lands that the university owned in the Griffey watershed. I contributed to the development of the idea with Keith and was a strong supporter of the proposal that came out to establish a research and teaching preserve with that property. Since then it's expanded to, what, seven properties I think now, totaling more than 1,600 acres. All of that is a consequence of Keith Clay's effort to expand the vision um, and continue to work with the IU administration uh, looking at properties that could be added to the preserve that would, would expand its capabilities and serve the research, research and teaching missions of the campus. There's a lot of outreach activities, so public schools, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, religious groups, senior citizen groups like the mini university at IU, and the IPE is expanding uh, to include academic programs, majors, classes. One of the major new initiatives uh, on the Bloomington campus was the creation of an integrated program for all things environment, environmental science and sustainability education and research. It's called the IPE, or Integrated Program in the Environment. And so now the Research and Teaching Preserve is part of this new entity on campus that reaches not only the research mission of the preserve, but it expands into the teaching possibilities for the preserve as well. This one is close to campus, so it's easy for students, it's easy for classes to get out here and gets the most use. You're half a mile from the football stadium, but it's a different world. 